Here's the dash for a 2001 Chevy 2500. You can see this is just a snap-on. You can just see it just pulls off. Just work your way around the whole thing. It'll all come off. Then you get to the instrument cluster. One of these switches. Temperature controls, radio. Snaps right back on place. Very nice and easy. So we're looking at a very popular uh, display for the mileage and for the trip and for the gear selection. A lot of times they'll be intermittent or they'll stop working. A lot of times you can just take the instrument cluster out of the dash and look for a bad connection, a bad solder joint often can be found. Good lighting, even maybe a good magnifying glass. And uh, you can find the problem and solder up yourself and spend just a little time on it and not have to send it out. Don't have to buy a salvage yard one, don't have to buy a new one. And most instrument clusters are held in just by four screws. I usually have luck, it's a seven millimeter most often. Just over here. <coughs> Here's the uh, cover. All just held on by friction clips of some kind, I guess I'd call them. And they just pop into these holes. So don't even need any tools. Just pull it out with your hands. Tilt the steering wheel. Move the shift indicator. This is a 2001 Chevy 2500 heavy duty pickup truck for this particular application. So we got a fairly common non working instrument cluster display for park neutral. Dis for the shift points and for the odometer and the triptometer. So you got to look carefully for uh, bad solder joints. If it's intermittent, if you can bang on the dash and get it to act up, it's probably intermittent to bad solder joint somewhere. So if you can get a magnifying glass and just kind of look carefully. I'm not going to try to do anything fancy on the video, but look for some... Uh, one of these little pins, you can see the solder is probably obviously not touching. Now on this one, we ended up taking this top piece off. This top piece actually comes off. It's got three plastic pins. You can move the pin here, move the pin here. There's one pin in here, and then this will actually, if you're careful, it'll flip over to the left on the camera. And then you can look on the back side. What we found on this one on the back side was both end pieces on the back side of this the solder was bad and one was mostly open. So you had a little soldering torch, got the tip hot, just a little dab of solder on each end of these wires and uh, it seems to have fixed it. It's no longer intermittent. So just do a good job, probably buy yourself a magnifying glass and uh, look carefully at the solder joints.